Hello everybody, this is Ace Stocky here, and welcome to what could be the start of a new Let's Play for me. Uh, thanks to Ryan the Almighty, uh, part of the Ace Stocky team, I got an excellent discount on buying Portal 2 on Steam. Um, I guess for those of you who've been playing Portal and Portal 2 and things like that for quite a while, I am an absolute Portal 2 noob. In fact, other than just like sort of opening it up to make sure that it works, I have not actually played this at all. I have no idea what the buttons are. I have no idea what, well, anything does. This is all completely new to me, so I guess it's, I'm in for a world of excitement. I sort of know what Portal's about, and I certainly know what the Minecraft Portal Gun mod is. Um, I've seen a few videos of some people doing stuff. Good morning. You have been in suspension for... I better be quiet. Shh. Days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived Ooh, periodically I can move. for a mandatory yep. physical Sweet. and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. That, that's this easy. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and Ooh, mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Okay, this is odd. Oh. Good. Now, please return to your bed. This is most odd. Um, I guess I don't, I don't really know what to expect from this game, so... You have been in suspension for... Whoa! Hello? Anyone in there? Ah! Ah! Dog, dog. You look... Um... Good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you... Well, don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. This is cool. Oh. Okay, so, um, what's really clear to me is I have no idea what's going on. I can't see out the window, but I, uh, Hmm, technical difficulties. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. I assume we're They've flying been under somewhere. For quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? <laughs> uh, although if you, do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying? At all? Does any of this make yes. any sense? Just tell I me, do. just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. <laughs> Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non functional. That's hard. Obviously, spacebar is jump. Hmm. Oh. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? Still holding on. Uh, it was better before everything fell apart. Ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know about the life functions of the ten thousand bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Oh, wow, there's somebody else over there. Right. Ooh, I can Close. zoom. Can you see? Nice. Am I gonna make it through? Have I got enough space? Uh, no. Uh, just, just gotta get through here. Okay, I just gotta concentrate. Pretty sure I said and no. Whose fault do you think it's gonna be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, so now I hit that one. I hit that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry for those of you who've seen this before and really know okay, what's going on. I'm also kinda. Hang on, I'm thinking. That it might be just a tad too loud, so I mean it sounds really loud to me. Alright, if anyone asks, and no one's gonna ask, don't worry, but 
If anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. All right? Not dead. OK, almost there. That doesn't sound good. Pretty On much alive, not dead. Wall, it's one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Whoa. Good news. That is not a docking station. <laughs> There's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. <laughs> Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes, but don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, there we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But, um, at least you're a good jumper. So, you got that, you got the jumping on your side. Yay! Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. Hmm... I wonder if I take fall damage. Right. Off you go. Oh! Out. A lot of broken glass. Hello, and again welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, I'm thanks not to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, Ooh, social, I can pick stuff economic, up. or structural collapse. Okay. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin. Uh, Three, two, okay. one. Go. Oh, portal. Hey, that was that. that's me. I'm a chick. Wow, I totally don't know anything about this game. Um, nice. Um, okay, cool. I was in there, and now I'm not. Oop. Door. Doors are good. Now I know... And button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. Hmm. I have no... Oop. E to pick up. Okay. Easy. E to drop. Easy. How hard can it be? Oop. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. Hmm. Cool. I wonder what happens if I try that. Ah, oh, okay. So, door's not that broken. Um, I don't like the idea of vaporizing stuff. I wonder if I can pick up any rocks and throw them. Eh, too late. Um, elevator? Elevators are good. Um, guess I hop in. Oh, down? Okay, down's good. I was hoping for up, but down is good. Well, I think I have finished the first part. Do I call it a level? Um, so I guess for those of you who if like you what you're seeing and would like to see me fumble my way through this. Lie on your back and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. This kind of reminds me of the original Half-Life for those of you who've played it. It's a fantastic game. Uh, starts off with a whole lot of things going really, really wrong and then you've got to survive. Um, I'm really not sure what Portal 1 was about or Portal was about, but this looks cool. Um, oh, so yeah, okay, I can push a button, aha, button, chew, and I can push another button, okay, blue portal, there's definitely something that needs to happen here, okay, in the blue portal room, aha, Easy. Open the portal. Portal opens. Through the portal. Pick up the block.
Pick the block up. Tss. Who said these games were hard? Um, now there should be a... Yeah, another one. Perfect. I'm thinking that I'm really going to enjoy this game. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. <laughs> when society has been rebuilt. Oh! Bunch of... stuff. I wonder what that is. That's a... Jump! At some stage I'm meant to get a portal gun. I kind of want one now. I don't know what a portal gun actually looks like. I, I thought it was that kind of ball looking thing. Um, and I wonder what that two up in the... I wonder if that's like meaning portal two. The second portal. Better than portal one. Maybe. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to reason. Yeah. That didn't work. Um, okay, so I guess what I was saying is for those of you who are enjoying seeing me fumble through this and seeing me um, play a bit of Portal 2, please let me know and I can continue this let's play for as long as you guys are interested in it. If you're not interested in seeing me do this anymore, also let me know that and I will continue with something else and I'll just, I guess, continue playing this on my own time a little bit. It seems to be running really well and it seems to be well, I, I know it's a really well thought out game. I've heard lots of really good things about Portal and Portal 2. You made it! There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't okay. see it though. Maybe it fell off. Oh! Oh, oh that was bad. Hello? Can you see the portal gun? Uh. Also, are you alive? That's important. Should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive. And I'm just gonna wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, <laughs> and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. Alright? Brilliant. Go team! <laughs> in an hour, hopefully. Hopefully, ooh. Dead. Hopefully you guys can hear what he's saying, because he's saying some really funny stuff. Ooh. Okay, I guess I've picked it up. Um, there's a yellow portal. Yellow portals are good. Wow. Funky brain stuff, people screaming, giant robot thingy, mm, something bad happening. Sweet. Um, I don't know if this is where I wanted to. B oh, ladder. Okay, ladder's good. Um, it looks like it's set for blue portal. Does that mean I. Yeah, that means I don't have a right click. So I don't know if that means I'm not able to orange portal or. Um, do I have a change thing that I have to set? Oh, there's my portal. I can see portals through walls, that's cool. Okay, um, coming this way. Um, guess. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics to share. This is seeming, I guess it's seeming a little linear at the moment. I guess this is an intro, it's a bit of a... That was dumb. Um, okay. That is not what I was looking for. I'm now back where I was a minute ago. Wonder, whoa! That's the exit. Can we jump? No, we cannot. I can do this. Oh, thingy. What exactly are you? I haven't seen one of you before. You are a security camera. Aha! It's obvious. Good. If you feel that a lethal military <laughs> android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, 
Please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Nice, and I love the little... Dirt. That's a sound effect from Half-Life, and it's just a sound effect that I've always appreciated. Um, okay, that's... Oh. Meant to happen. Doesn't fill me with a lot of confidence, but it's all good. Okay, so I think I'm going to stop this episode about the 20 minute mark, just to give you guys a bit of an idea of uh, how much of a portal noob I am, and that I think this game looks like it's going to be fun. I'm wondering if I can actually play Half-Life. I know I used to have a copy of Half-Life 2 somewhere around, and I'm sure I have a copy of Half-Life as well. I think it'd be nice to... ...is very dangerous to help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death. Move Jazz will be deployed in 3, 2... One. Smooth jazz will be deployed. Awesome. This doesn't look that bad. I don't... I'm not getting why this is so dangerous. Oh! Um... There's my orange portal. I wonder if I can just drop down. Yeah, perfect. Okay, pick you up. Drop through you. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Oh, my gun holds it. Um. Ah, button. Button. Buttons are good. Put you down. I wonder, wonder if I can throw things. I'm interested now. Can I throw things? No. No throwing. Well, actually, by throwing I meant some kind of fantastic shooty power to fling things across the room. I'm not, not seeing this as being as dangerous as... Um, Okay. Um. Not again. Not a hundred percent sure what's meant to happen with this thing. Is the door open? Nice. Nice step off. Door closes. Okay. What's down here? Another thing to pick up. Can't do that. Can do that. Easy. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Okay. No problem. Disregarded. Oh. Roof portal. Okay. I think I've seen this in a video before. Oh. Oh. I was expecting to have to shoot something, but that, that works too. Just came through there, so now I'm up to here. Um, there is a door. Door is open. Is there something up here? Uh, no. Nothing up here. Unreason. Not even sure if that's meant to make sense. Aha. The end. Well, um, this is about the 20 minute mark, so what I think I'm going to do now is I think I'm going to call an... It's kind of eerie looking. I think I'm going to call the end of this video right now. Please guys let me know if you'd like to see me do more of this. I'm really starting to enjoy this and I think this is going to be an awesome game. And once again, thanks heaps to Ryan the Almighty for sending me the voucher on Steam to let me get this at a heavily discounted price. So once again, thanks very much for watching. Hope everyone enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see more. Ice stocky out.